Here we go. But like that that moment right there of Raimi just Raimi's just a brat sometimes. By the way, now with treasure sense, it's gonna be a lot easier than it's gonna be a lot easier, uh it's gonna be a lot easier to find chests now. And I probably am just gonna get as many chests as possible unless I'm lazy. Uh, we could explore this region. However, we're gonna end up going there later. So I'm gonna go inside this village and just move on the story for now. Woodley Village. Hello, treasure chest. Blackberries. I haven't really used many, so we probably have so many of those by now. Um, also, if there's new weapons, I think we can probably buy some. Yes, here we go. Chest. Anti-stun amulet. Very good. I'm gonna put this on Raimi. I'm gonna be using Raimi, like, more than Edge. I love playing as her. Let me get to my favorite character. She's never leaving the party. Yes, a torch bow. Perfect. And a flame wand for Limmel. Oh, we can- you can pickpocket in this game? I forgot you could pickpocket. I'm absolutely buying that. That's about all I care about. Give me some iron and some bowstring. Why not? Maybe for item creation. I don't know what accept orders means. I don't think I ever messed with that when I played this game. Maybe now's a good time to start doing stuff I've never done in this game before. I'm gonna put Raimi first because I'm likely to use Raimi more than Edge. You like you can't like switch formations? Oh, it's in tactics, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, they're like little fetch quests. Am I getting an iron saber? Accept, accept, accept. Deliver? Oh, okay. They're like fetch quests to do. I mean, if we get any done, then that's we can focus on that. What's in here? Oh, this is the inn. Let me hit up a save again. Why not? I'm gonna, like walk my dog in like 15 minutes or my dogs but like my dog actually left my room for a little bit but I'm gonna walk my uh my dogs after this uh after this session let's go down here first and grab this chest and then just move on the story probably just like uh this house I think that's not marked that that's actually an item shop not that one Do I have to go? Maybe it is the item shop, or maybe it's just up here? Yeah, there's a house up here. I did not see this before. Well, hello there, Lim. What a nice surprise. Why don't you say hi to Ludi while you're here? This is where Ludi lives. I see. Ludi... Teach me the symbol. I'll try my best to still learn Please, it, Please, Miss Lutia. <sighs> Not so long ago, there was a case of Boculus in this village as well. I administered the Boculus patient my healing symbol, but unfortunately I was unable to cure him. Oh no! What does that mean? I don't know. But... I can tell you that this particular case of Boculus was unlike any other I've seen. Healing symbols are crafted by learning the source of the sickness and incorporating that knowledge into the symbol. 
To cure this new form of Boculus, we need to uncover its source. How do we do that? That, I'm afraid I do not know. Anytime there's something you don't know, you just ask Grandpa. Grandpa knows everything, Kay. Ah, Gimdo, that's right! Right. We're going back to Trion. Wait. Take this. A symbol stone. <laughs> you don't miss a trick, do you, Lin? That's nothing. A symbol stone? To create a healing symbol for this sickness, you must first discover its source and bring it back. The symbol stone is a vessel for that purpose. So it's kind of like a sample container. So we find this source of the disease and put it in here. That's right. I should be the one to make the journey, but... We'll handle it for you. We've got our reliable little friend Lim here to help us, after all. Friend? Tee <laughs> friends. Friends. That kind of makes me smile, okay? Oh? You're not used to having many friends, Limmel? Bleh. I don't need friends like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to sit down and have a serious talk with you sometime. Come on, let's get back to the village, Kay. I don't want to be friends with this little brat. Limo just looks so creepy. <laughs> she honestly looks like a... She just looks like a lifeless doll most of the time and her voice acting is so bad. She gives me nightmares. Or at least used to. Oh, uh, there should be some side quests in this item shop. Dude, why are side quests, like, not marked? No wonder I never do them. Like, what is this, Star Ocean 6? Even then, I think Star Ocean 6, uh... Did better at marking them. But 5 had, like, a quest board. Like, quest in, uh... Side quests in Star Ocean 5 were easy to do. Because they had a quest board. What to do, what to do. I got a problem here, a serious one. My little girl's missing. I know I'm supposed to have the shop open, but I'm completely beside myself right now. You just have no idea. Would you help look for the girl for me? I'm afraid I'm going to be closed until someone finds her. Us? Well, why not? All right, could you tell us what she looks like? Thank you. Hope it's not too much of a bother. I know I can count on younger people around town. She's a little girl with bre a big brown ribbon tied around her waist. I'd help, but I just can't leave the stone unman unmanned. I hope you can find her. Little lost girl. All right, so we have a side quest to accept. I'm training with Lutia to become an... I think Lutia is how you say her name, but, uh... Limmel calls her Luti. I'm training with Lutia to become an oracle. To be an oracle, you're gonna be so jealous of me. Right, right, good luck, Kay. We're going back to Trium, so I'll see you later, Elmir... Um, Elmir? Have fun. All right. <laughs> Or any other side quest I can accept? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well. Let's move on. I honestly don't care about side quests, especially now. Especially if they're not gonna mark them. I definitely won't bother with them. We'll do what we can, basically. I don't think they're missable either, though. I don't think many of them are missable, so we could at least go back to them if we need to. Behold, Seraphic Thunder. Now we can link a second Sonic Thorn to Seraphic Thunder, which is really nice. And we can do double Sonic Thorn for, like, increased damage bonus. Now is where the combat gets really fun. I should have rested. Phase is dead? How did Phase die? You know what? We got so many items. I might as well just use items. Limo can heal, actually, for that. Your limo, if you wouldn't mind. I guess we can just like, finish exploring this little region here. I don't want to fight too much because we're already properly leveled, like really good level-wise, but I do want to still get these new entries. Also, these ogres were in Star Ocean 6. I pointed out that they're in Star Ocean 4 when I played 6. We don't have time to play around. 
Let's go. It even marks harvesting spots, which, you, which is really cool. Scumbags, these are new. I did not want to fight you. I wanted to fight the scumbag. Lo and behold, here we are. And Seraphic Thunder is so hard to hit with. Oh my word, he drop kicked me. He did a Milda kick. Oh, he did it again. But we both fell at the same time. That's the funniest part. Oh, he's throwing a snowball at me? Oh, no. Okay, I just won't use Seraphic Thunder. That's cool. Oh, my word. All right, well, there goes the bonus board. Honestly, that's fine because we're really high level. And also, I'm going to end my recording in like 10 minutes anyway. Where it's going to reset regardless. I'm not even going to bother building it up. Scumbag is who I want to fight. Because we haven't fought them in this playthrough yet. The apprentice scumbag. Dude, I can't wait. I'm thinking about Raimi's second battle skill. I cannot wait to get Raimi's second art. Raimi's second art is amazing. Probably one of my favorites. I mean, she's got a lot of good ones. I, I just like playing as Raimi. Honestly, Raimi's probably, like, my second favorite character to play as. My favorite is obviously, like, my favorite character. Like, she's my favorite to play as, but second place? Probably Raimi. I like Raimi's skills. Here we go. Edge also gets some, like, good skills, too. Like, I definitely love playing as Raimi, though. So Raimi might be on the team most of the time because of that. Vile Gloop, huh? I mean, we'll probably use a little bit of everyone, to be honest. Like, we won't... There will probably be, like, some people we use more than others, obviously, but... I'll probably try to use a bit of everyone. And all that, etc. Yes, hello. What just hit me? I had to keep through like a snowball. Oh, I uh, no, I have no MP. Rip. I guess I'm edge now. What is happening? What is happening, dude? I wanted to lock on to you, actually. I did not want to lock on to the ogre in that moment. Yeah, get in their face. All right, good damage. Kind of just did that because I could. <laughs> no ulterior motive there. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them all daily training. Is the Thanks to you, Edgy. I should look at the beats some point. I'm just kind of lazy right now. If there's any new enemies, I will fight them. If not, leave me alone. And I'll just focus on grabbing the treasure chest. Can we get, like, interrupted going to the village? I thought there was another dungeon. I guess we go to Trium first. I keep pressing R2 by accident. I guess we go to Trium. Oh, these turtles are new. We haven't fought them. I guess we go to Trium and then we do that dungeon. We're not going to get to that dungeon anyway. Like, I'm going to... I mean, maybe I'll leave my PS5 on and maybe I'll have time to play more today. Obviously, for YouTube, that's, like, irrelevant because of when I upload these, but... Maybe I'll play more today. I'm not sure. I have some other stuff to do today, though, so I don't know. We will see. Fine. I'm not sure if we go to that dungeon or we just get, like, if we get interrupted, go in the Trium, and then we go to the dungeon. That's how we get the Trium, right? So I think we go to Trium first, probably. So maybe we should go to Trium now. I mean, we're not going to have time to do that dungeon anyway. Never mind, we can't even go this way. 
That's the forest barrier. A barrier? I don't recall any other paths leading back to Trium. Maybe someone in Woodley can tell us something about this. Let's go back and ask around. Oh, we gotta go to Woodley? We gotta go all the way back to Woodley? I wanna go down here first and see what's down here. This game is so pretty. The environments are so beautiful. It's sad that this is the prettiest stars in the fairy orchid. Sure is a strange light this flower gives off. Is that like, is that relevant for anything? I don't freaking know, dude. I've got no clue. I don't recall. All right, go back to Woodley, maybe see a cutscene. Then I guess we're going to end for today. But yeah, it's sad that this is like the prettiest stars in game environment wise because five was like a budget title and six again I like six six is kind of a budget title, but it's still a really good game It's not as apparent as it is in five Stars in general, I think are like budget titles starting with four They're just not a, like a triple-a company like Final Fantasy So it kind of shows five is very obvious though and six isn't as apparent but six's graphics are hit or miss <laughs> Like, I think 6 is a good game, but the graphics are hit or miss. Even the environments are hit or miss. Hence why I said this is the prettiest. Environment-wise, this is the prettiest, though. And this was originally an Xbox 360 slash PS3 game. Oh, my word. I'm gonna get one for Edge, I think. All of this, I'm not gonna worry about too much. Taunt could be really good. Hey, get me a chain combo and a taunt. Chain combo for Edge, and then taunt for Raimi, because I'm playing as Raimi. And then for Raimi, I can have taunt. Oh, it's, oh no, taunt's like a skill you use in the battle, right? Like you open the menu, I think. There are some skills that you open the menu in battle and then use it. I think that's one of them. Oh yeah, the inn has a really weird sign. I don't know why that's the inn. Like I, I still don't really know what that is supposed to be. talk to Ludi really quick and see what's up and then we can end please take care of Lim won't you she'd be happy to ask you around oh is this one of those times where it's like the game's not gonna tell me where to go you're not leaving all you why don't you stay a little longer sorry I have to go now where do I have to go? Is the game really not gonna tell me? Got that maybe the fairy orchid does something? I should try to pickpocket from people. Because <laughs> we have that now. Hit me up with skill boost. Oh no, do I not need to learn pickpocket? Or do I need to equip? I have them equipped. Or did I not use pickpocket? Or did I not get pickpocket? Whatever. I don't really care to pickpocket that much. I'll figure it out later. Where do I have to go? Is the, where, is the fairy orchid what I needed? I mean, I'm like out of time anyway. Yada yada, fairy orchid. These are other things to do. Exit the Silent Four. You, we can go to the. You'll be back on Thalia Plains. Follow the path east. Cross the bridge to return the Trium. There is another way to get the Trium. We have to go back to. Okay, so we. Uh, let me at least see how I do that, and then I can figure it out for later. Do I just literally go east? Is that all I have to do? I 
I wish you could like toggle, like move around the minimap when you open it. It's really weird that you can't. I don't know why that was a decision they made. You know, how do I go back then? I don't know how I go back to, uh, what's it called? I have no idea, but I'm out of time anyway. I gotta go walk my dogs. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. I'm enjoying Starship 4. It's, it's, it's fun. The gameplay is really fun. I'm gonna enjoy this playthrough. Like, I'm glad to be doing it in some way, shape, or form. So, I'm glad to be doing it, and I hope you're all enjoying as well. When we come back next time, we will head back to Trium and move on the story and get on with the Limerous section of the game. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.